Start by assembling the cabinets as per the instructions provided. Once the cabinets are assembled, clamp them together side by side, making sure cabinets are level. Pre-drill using the 4mm drill bit and screw them together in all four corners using the 28mm screws provided with the cabinets. Cut the bench top with a circular saw, carefully following the instructions provided with the bench top. For this project, we'll be cutting one piece 1273mm long. This will be the top of the unit, and two pieces 436 millimeters long. These will be the sides. Note, if your window seat is going to sit flat against a wall, you may need to consider how it will integrate with the skirting board. If your window seat will be permanently installed, you can cut away the skirting board to allow for a flush fit. However, if you don't want to damage the skirting, you will have to cut the profile of the skirting board into the bench top pieces so that they fit around the skirting board. Sand the bench top pieces with your orbital sander or sandpaper and finish with caboodle hard wax oil. Being sure to follow the bench top and hard wax oil instructions carefully. Once your bench top pieces are dry, Attach them to the cabinets by clamping and screwing into place using 28mm screws from the inside of the cabinet. The bench top pieces will be flush with the back of the cabinets, with the top panel sitting across the top of the side panels. If you are fixing your cabinet to the wall, do so using 65mm timber screws into a wall stud, or use other appropriate fasteners depending on your wall. Install the drawers, drawer fronts and handles according to the product instructions. Note, for accuracy you can use our Caboodle handle template to help you install the handles. Finally, attach the kickboard according to the instructions and your window seat is complete. Mm -hmm. 